right, welcome back, people. I just went and talked to Aria, I think her name is, uh, about the book with the keyword. I had to talk to her twice, so make sure you use that keyword twice on her. And she said, well, first she said that she didn't have the book in stock. And then she said that she'd have an owl bring it to me. And then the owl gave me a quest that said I had to go and pick it up. So here I am. You came beyond. Here it is, the book you have been looking for. Sorry it took so long to make it to make it up to you. I'll give you the book for free. Ah, oh, that's great, because I'm poor. Instead, just come and visit often, okay? Aw, oh, how cute. Alright. So we have to read the book. For the keyword paradise. And then I guess you can flip through this if you want. I'm not going to because it's just a lot of reading and I know it would probably bore you guys to death. Um, so you can read that on your own time. But I'm going to head back to Tyr because I have to talk to Tarlotch again uh, using this keyword. So I'm going to head that way and I'm going to pause it. And I will see you when I get there. Alright, we're here. I was reading the book on my way here. Alright, I have to talk to Tarlotch again. Hello, good sir. I'm in love with you. Just saying. Alright, paradise keyword. Did you actually read the book? You still want to go? Just as I thought. Honestly, I was hoping that reading the book would be enough to satisfy your curiosity and that you would forget all about it. But you can't help that you're an adventurer. Tirnanog is not paradise. What's in that book is actually a lie. Tirnanog is a real place, but it's not anything like paradise. Every time he says paradise, I think Wolf's Rain. I love that anime. Listen carefully. Tirnanog is a land of foam wars, and the goddess, who seems so loving, draws zealous adventurers like yourself to manipulate and use you. You don't believe me, do you? <laughs> the path I just gave you is what the Fulmors used to enter the dungeon. It's an item they used to avoid the barrier set up by the goddess. If you offer that to the statue of the goddess in Bari Dungeon, you will witness everything I just told you with your own two eyes. Here's a red wing of the goddess, so use it if you need it. You can go there alone, but taking one or two friends with you is probably a better idea. The best thing to do would be to forget trying to go to Tiernanog. Heed my warnings. Gotcha, good sir. I got another ticket. Alright, so... Uh, I guess that's it. Hold on one second, let me check the, the thingy. Alright, it says that I should probably take a couple people with me, so don't forget to comment and like and dislike and whatever else if you wanna uh, come with me and watch me fail hardcore. Um, maybe I'll take, I'll probably take, a, uh, I don't know, I'm really noob. So, I need a lot of backup. So, if you're on Alexina and you want to help me and <laughs> laugh at me for being so fail, um, post a comment and I will probably take a couple people with me. And it says that if you're human, you can't transform, but giants and elves can. So, I need people help with that. Otherwise, I'll probably just go find, what the heck? I just got a ticket again? I just got one a second ago. Um, I will probably, if nobody comments and leaves poor little beyond hanging, I'll probably go find random people to help me. 
Um, otherwise, yeah, I said it before, and uh, comment and like and dislike and whatever else, and I will try to post as often as I can. Uh, until next time, I will see you guys around.